My name is Pam Bartulovic. I am in nursing care in a wonderful nursing home at Snug in Tasmania. For me, when in lockdown, it was terrible because I do not have my family to come and see me in the nursing home and we were locked down for quite a while. Um, I'm not for that. If you have COVID, then it should be as it is now. You are placed in your room, you are isolated, and you stay there until you're clear. There's many residents who have contentment and stay in their rooms. There would be a lot of residents that look so forward to leisure and lifestyle. I have, as you see behind me, my garden, the fountain, and Tai Chi. I love Tai Chi, and I love being outside. Hi, I'm Alicia Shepherd. I'm the service manager here at Uniting the Marion. We go into a lockdown, I'd probably say, oh, maybe once every couple of weeks. We've just actually come out of another lockdown. I guess the struggle with the residents is that family connection and that human connection, the social connection that they really miss. How are you today? I'm good. These guys are at the later end of their lives and they don't want to spend that sitting in their room. They will tell me, you know, we've been in wars, I've had car accidents, I've lived my life, I've travelled the world by myself. So it's, it can be pretty heartbreaking to tell a very senior person to me, no, go back to your room. I would say the biggest impacts for my staff at the moment uh, is the lack of. There isn't anyone to backfill. Agencies don't have anyone to offer. Although we've got the Commonwealth to refer to and request the staff, the staff aren't always available. You know, these guys are not paid adequately for the work that they do. So I think that it's just a continuous flow and we're exhausted. <laughs> Hello, my name's Michael North. I've been resident in this aged care facility in West Gippsland for about a year. My wife's name is Terry or Teresa, and we've been married for 62 years. This facility is divided into about five departments or sections. I'm in one quite separate from my wife. She's in another one where I'm free to go and see her as often as I want to, and we spend quite a bit of the day together. So if I'm isolated in my room or she is in hers, I can't go and see her. I spend uh, quite a bit of time uh, emailing friends. Most residents don't have mobile phones and don't have computers. You feel isolated from the world outside. You feel almost like in a goldfish bowl looking out at the world. If you read in the newspapers about people in aged care, it's always about them. It's I can't recall it ever being by them, and it's the same when the government is, uh, is discussing aged care. Yes, they, uh, they make policy without really asking the people they're making the policy for any questions. I just want to give a, a big word of appreciation to staff here and in other facilities who've gone out of their way to maintain the standard of care in the face of great difficulty, staff shortages and so forth. Hello, I'm Catherine Sherlock. I'm the Residential Service Manager for Blue Care Carina in Queensland. It's a tough gig for staff. They have folk that they care about very much, that they come to work to look after, but they've also got to go home to their families. They're trying hard not to, not to get sick so they can come to work. We're constantly on, on edge, but I don't think we see it as cycles. It's just when's the next wave going to hit us. Uh, PCRs have been done by the pathology company. So right. 
You can go out into the garden, you just can't go out into the no, community no, just yet. No, they can't go out in the community. And... We have just come out of a four week lockdown into a partial lockdown. The air conditioning's been set to heat to keep everybody warm, but PPE makes you sweat. And staff are changing their clothes three to four times a shift. Um, when you sweat that much, you fatigue. So fatigue is a big issue. Add that fatigue in. They've worked two, two years without a holiday. They are pretty, they're a pretty awesome crew, mate. Back in the beginning of the pandemic, nobody could come in. Um, nobody was getting in and no one was getting out. Um, at least now, essential visitors can come in and spend time with their folks, which I think alleviates a lot of that stress. Age doesn't come into it. COVID is affecting the young ones. That in itself should be enough for other people to do their best not to spread it. Age care seems to be an area that's always forgotten. There's an attitude in the community generally towards older people and COVID has only made that worse. 